Welcome to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel, and for the next two weeks, our show is coming to you from Ledyard Financial Advisors, where their sole mission is to preserve and enhance your wealth. Today, I'll be joined by Michael Hackdown, Executive Vice President and Managing Director of Ledyard's Wealth Management Division, where we will hear about the type of client that is a good fit with Ledyard Financial Advisors and how they support clients in planning and setting financial goals. Winfried Fenneberg and Charles Langell will get under the hood on the STEAM proposal for the Kearsarge Regional High School. Catherine Nevins from Main Street Bookends will review really good books for holiday gifts. And we'll close our show with Nancy Bloomfield of The Family Place in Norwich. Don't go away as we want to hear from other good businesses that make our area their home and provide support for our cultural and educational institutions. Please stay with us. At HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, we sell, install, tune, and repair heating and cooling systems and deliver your fuel oil and propane. But we're much more. With more frequent major weather events, don't say again, I should have installed a generator. HR Clough provides the best home generator systems available from Generac. Our highly trained personnel provide you a complete turnkey installation. For a free estimate, call the HR Clough company today. Over four generations of local ownership and dependable service. There's a big difference between a big box store and a LaValle Middleton building supply. When you're a local store, you need to compete with the bigger chains. So we've combined our purchasing power with over 300 independent lumberyard and home centers, and we've passed those savings on to you. Our customers have grown up with our stores, and now their kids are shopping here with our kids. We have everything you need for any home improvement project you can think of. And the possibilities are endless. If we had a motto, it would be neighbors helping neighbors build a community. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel, coming to you from downtown Hanover at the Ledyard Financial Advisors headquarters here. And I'm now joined by Michael Hackown, who's the Executive Vice President and Managing Director of Ledyard Financial Advisors. Hi, Michael. Great to see you, Abby. Great to see yeah. you. Tell us about yourself and also uh, this new position you're in here. Great. Yeah, so I'm, I'm married. Uh, we've got three daughters, live in the New Hampshire area. Great and joined Ledyard in July of 2021. Recently? Yeah, just recently. Great. Yes, yeah. it's been a fantastic uh, time meeting the team, getting to know our clients. And I joined from a larger financial institution, international, and worked both in Canada and the US. Wow. And uh, relocated back to the area uh, in fact, a couple years ago. Wonderful. Yeah. And are you yeah. adjusting well to the New Hampshire lifestyle? We, we like New Hampshire and uh, really appreciate the, uh, the, the, the state. And we've got, a, in fact, a good amount of family in the area as well. Wonderful. Yeah. And so tell me a little bit about what you're working on with your uh, financial team. Great. Yeah. So as I mentioned, we've got an incredible team here, Abby. And what we've done recently is invested in new uh, planning technology oh. for our clients. Wow. And this is quite remarkable because what we're able to do is help clients really visualize uh, what they're trying to achieve in a way that helps them look at scenarios. Hmm. Uh, and we call it scenario planning technology. And uh, so whether it be looking at retirement years and looking at how they might pre-experience what retirement could look like, or looking at you know maybe buying a second home, sure. or you know planning for their children's education, right? Sure. How can I fund my children's education is another question that we can help wow. visualize for uh, for our clients. And that's all yeah. on software, no no paper and pen and trying to draw it all out. Yeah. Software produces that for you. Yeah, so it's pretty dynamic, exactly. And we do we still have paper and pen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, and, I'm uh, sure. yeah, but the, the 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 technology is quite quite unique because nice. it you know the older plans were typically you printed it out the moment you printed it out it was stale and because the markets move and your goals change and this plan actually is dynamic it moves as the markets moves and they adjust to your to your goals so interesting yeah. and talk about for our viewers watching who's a good fit for Ledyard yeah so we work with clients in really many life stages mm. and whether you have someone who is earlier on in their career uh, maybe starting out in a business and they're really focused on planning for the future 
sure. they want to know what do I need to do to be successful or yep. what do I need to do to make sure that I'm going to be okay in retirement. Of course. And so really, you know, I I helping individuals in that life stage to maybe mid-career and they're looking at maybe, you know, uh, retirement planning more seriously. Maybe they're looking at second home, children's education, and really helping them pre-experience those, uh, those different scenarios. And then those that are in the, the kind of pre-retirement uh, to you know retirement stage mm. and those individuals were helping to really understand how to replace the paycheck and really better understand you know what that is going to look and feel like uh, in those retirement years and then we help individuals who are looking to leave a legacy and really you know plan sure. for you know their their next generation sure. uh, or generations yes. and uh, and also you know those that want to you know make uh, uh, any charitable gifting and uh, you know for charities and nonprofits that are near and dear to their heart and I'm sure it's very, uh, uh, feels a, a bit of success to you when you see somebody go through all of those stages. You start with somebody who's young mm -hmm. and then moves into the pre-retirement and then retirement. And that must feel good to you, not only to them, but also to you as well. You're right. Absolutely. Good. Yeah. In fact, uh, Ledyard just celebrated our 30th anniversary in right. 2021. So we have seen clients go through all of those life stages and it is quite, quite, quite rewarding. Ledyard is yeah. as old as me. I can <laughs> say that. How about that? Um, and how do you support clients in planning? and setting financial goals? Yeah. So at first, we, we want to really get aligned to their values and what's important. What matters most to our clients is where we start. You know, questions like, what do you care about? Mm. You know, what, what, what do you really care about really helps kind of paint the picture for where we can start the conversation. Interesting. And then we, in essence, take more of a goals-based approach. And what are your goals? What are your aspirations? And then we again build this plan together. And it's dynamic in the context of, you know, it's, uh, you can envision a, a screen and working with a client to, you know, make those changes real, real time. So sure. you can see if, if I retire later or earlier, how does it impact uh, my goals? If I am saving more or less, uh, how does it impact my goals? And so we've had clients that have had shared that when they work with Ledger Financial Advisors, they tell us that they have more peace of mind and that wow. they can sleep better at night. And, and that is... Uh, it's quite a statement to say. Important, and everyone's yeah. goal is to retire and retire uh, healthy and wealthy, I'm sure. Yes, so yeah. um, you can help them do that. Michael, mm. thank you very much for your insight, and I hope people reach out and learn more about uh, financial advisors here at Ledyard. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you, Abby. When we return, we'll hear more about the STEAM proposal for the Kearsarge Regional High School. Please stay with us as we first hear from these good community minded businesses. At H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating, we sell, install, tune, and repair heating and cooling systems and deliver your fuel oil and propane. But we're much more. H.R. Clough installs water conditioning systems to purify your water and add life to your hot water heating system. Now is the perfect time for one of our expert staff to evaluate your needs. For a free estimate, call H.R. Clough today. Over four generations of local ownership and dependable service. Warner's Main Street Bookends has been your community bookstore since 1998 and voted Yankee Magazine's Editor's Pick Must See Bookstore. Bookends is a full service store offering a huge selection of current fiction and nonfiction with children's book selection, toys, and games. Bookends has a huge card selection for all occasions, along with Main Street Marketplace and Gallery in the attached barn. 100% solar, Main Street Bookends of Warner is building your community one book at a time. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel. Joining me now is Winfried Fenneberg, the superintendent of the Kearsarge Regional School District, as well as Charles Langell, the principal at the high school, for our continuing look at their steam wing proposal. Hi, gentlemen. The areas that we're talking about um, for renovation are approximately 50 years old. They are original to the high school. So if you imagine spaces that even in your own house, um, we would probably have renovated the kitchen or the bathroom. Um, same applies for public buildings. So we need to create educational space that is adequate for the programs that we have developed and are planning to develop. As we look at uh, renovation and reconstruction, we are talking about 
16,000 square feet of new construction, spaces that we now create in uh, recognition of what those new programs need to entail, and approximately 30,000 square feet all total um, in terms of being touched, remodeled, and renewed and refreshed at the high school. So that's about almost a third of the high school. In the process of planning, we also discovered that uh, several of our systems, our, uh, the roof, um, the HVAC, need an update. And, and those costs would be faced by the taxpayer in the next three, four, five years uh, under any circumstances. So the thinking was to, to fold these costs into a longer range bond um, together with the construction and renovation of learning spaces. So Winfred, you know, you bring up a great point, 50 years old. One of those areas that we're looking at too with, with this renovation uh, is the locker rooms and the PE storage and the PE commons area. Um, currently, those locker rooms look the same as they probably looked 50 years ago. Gang showers, tight spaces, corners uh, where it's hard to get by someone and then some awkward open spaces that can't really be used fully for team meetings. They have, you know, gender-based from 50 years ago style fixtures in them. Female locker room has some private wall spaces, but the male locker room has none of that. And there are no real storage spaces. So often when you go into these locker rooms, some of the PE equipment and the football equipment and soccer equipment are sitting on the floor or off in a corner uh, because it's the only place that they really can fit. And it's, it's a great opportunity to be looking at that whole 1970s wing of, of the building where a lot of these things have been untouched for some time now. That's a good segue to uh, what people probably want to know about this project. How much does it cost? So at this point, we are looking at a total cost, which obviously needs to be bonded, of $22.2 million, $22 million. If you bear in mind what I said earlier, approximately $5 million of that are maintenance issues, roof issues that need to be addressed either through budget in our regular budgets or we have the opportunity to bond this and, and fold this into a larger project over many more years. So at this point, uh, we are planning to come to the voters in March with a proposal for a 20-year bond to renovate and reconstruct elements of the high school that also include updates to our HVAC system, our mechanical systems, as well as roof and other repair work that we discovered in the process of planning this expansion. Thank you, Winfred. It reminds me, we should invite you, know, you to have us come down in, into maybe you have a, a small book club or an organization or group that's local to town and you have a lot of questions. Sometimes it's a lot easier to come down and explain those. Uh, we are more than willing to, to come down and, and present this to you to answer questions. We've been going around to the seven towns to all the PTO meetings, uh, to select board meetings, Rotary. Uh, so if you have another club or organization that you represent and you're really curious to know about some of this jargon you're hearing like STEAM and inquiry-based education and what this really means for you, uh, we're more than happy to come down. You can also find more information on our website uh, as well as going through uh, YCN and, and watching these videos that, that we've been putting out through PSAs. Uh, and as always, call, email the high school at any time and ask to talk to me and I'm more than happy to welcome you in and give you a tour around and show you what we're looking at. So thanks very much for that offer and also I want to invite everybody and really urge everybody to come to the deliberative session on January 8th for the school district and really voice your concerns, ask your questions and hopefully support the project. Thank you very much. Thanks Winfried and Charles for this vision. Up next, we'll hear about some good books for gifts from Katherine Nevins, but now another few words from the good folks that make it possible for us to bring you Yankee Chronicle.
At HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, we sell, install, tune, and repair heating and cooling systems and deliver your fuel oil and propane. But we're much more. With more frequent major weather events, don't say again, I should have installed a generator. HR Clough provides the best home generator systems available from Generac. Our highly trained personnel provide you a complete turnkey installation. For a free estimate, call the HR Clough Company today. Over four generations of local ownership and dependable service. Simple solutions in a challenging world. Let Echo Communications make your life simpler. From the beginning, creating design through the commercial print process and ending with custom mailing, all easily coordinated in one place. Echo Communications provides simple solutions in a challenging world. One place, many solutions. Learn more at echocominc.com. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel. Tis the season for gift giving. Here now is Catherine Nevins of Main Street Bookends with a few suggestions. Hi, Catherine. Thank you, Abby. Thank you for coming into Main Street Bookends again. I wanted to, um, first of all, thank everyone for recognizing the importance of shopping locally, particularly during the holidays. Since it is the holiday season, this is one of my favorite new books to come out. This is uh, Christmas is Coming, Traditions from Around the World. Um, I had a book like this when I was little, and I am convinced that it impacted me tremendously, the idea that Christmas actually occurs all around the world in very different formats for all these wonderful different cultures. Jan Brett has come out with her annual new book, um, which her, her books are always so beautiful. This one is, of course, The Nutcracker. So if you like Jan Brett, this is the newest one. Uh, this has been around forever. Um, this, of course, is by Astrid Lindgren. Um, and it's a wonderful little uh, Tompton who has the amazing ability to talk to all the animals and to know exactly what they need. All around Bustletown, this is, a, there's one for each season. This is the one for winter. This is a fabulous German illustrator. There are no words. It's just um, getting totally lost in very different scenes, city scenes, farm scenes. Okay, we have, a, we have a wonderful new addition to children's books. Kathy Lowe, who was beloved through the whole area for her music and for her art and her photography, um, has come out with a wonderful children's book called Tomer's, Tomer's Earthly Friends. Um, this is a wonderful book that takes off on her photographs, which are called petrographs and they are incredible reflections that she has um, accumulated over the years. One of my favorites, of course, that just came out is called Yours in Books. So this is a wonderful owl who has to go to his local bookseller for help on all these various issues that are going on in his life. And so it's a lot of letter writing. It's a lot of the connections that books make to children in their lives. And then there's another wonderful brand new children's book called Night Walk. Night Walk, excuse me. Uh, this is by Marie Dorleans. Uh, this is just, uh, again, a beautiful book about a family that just spends the evening walking and observing. Beautiful book. Uh, there are certain books that are certainly at the top of the pile in terms of requests. This is one of them, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse. It's a wonderful, wonderful story. Um, very, very uh, meaningful and peaceful story. Beautiful, beautiful illustrations throughout. We have, we're very proud to have a local boy that grew up here in Warner who went off and had, he's had many adventures of a lifetime. He wrote about one of them, which has to do with uh, his horse that he uh, traveled all the way across the country with it, with, with the horse, obviously, only by horseback. Um, a lot of suffering, a lot of honesty, a lot of really good stories in here. And this is um, Jesse McNeil, who grew up right here in Warner. This one just won't come off the bestsellers list, no matter how hard, how hard we try. Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. Wonderful story about indigenous plants. This woman is a medical doctor as well as uh, a Native American, and she combines the two worlds uh, beautifully. Brene Brown, who is extremely popular, 
has just come out with this book called Atlas of the Heart. If you're familiar with Brene Brown, this will really resonate for you. It's, it's a lot, it's in the, a lot of illustrations. Nick Offerman, who you folks may remember him from The Office. He was the wonderful character from The Office. He has uh, crossed the country with a best friend and has decided to write about his thoughts. <laughs> and the thoughts are amazing and they're wonderful and the man is brilliant. Jody Picote just came out with her latest. This is Wish You Were Here. Can't say I've read it yet, but it's Jody Picote. It's her newest. Louise Penny, always popular always so popular. This is her latest, Madness of Crowds. We're offering this for half price right now. Diana Galbadon. So how many years have people been waiting for this installment? This is um, Go Tell the Bees That I Am Gone. So long, long wait on this one and everyone is pretty excited to have the latest installment. Amar Tolls, who is so well loved for A Gentleman in Moscow, has come out with the Lincoln Highway. I loved this. This is uh, 10 days in the life of four young men. Um, it's, it's a roller coaster. And then I will just end with another um, book that is just one of the most fabulous gifts you can think of to give someone. It's called The Lost Words. This is not a brand new book. It's been out for a while, but it is such a beautiful gift. Um, it is the incredible writing of Robert McFarlane and the illustrations from Jackie Morris. So thank you so much for letting me show you a little bit of what's here in Main Street Bookends. Our hours are Tuesday through Friday from noon to 6, Saturday from 10 to 4. Uh, we also have lots and lots of games. We have artists um, rep represented here, over 30 artists represented. Um, call us, email us. We're here to help and Keep in mind, local businesses, this holiday season, we thank you so much for supporting us. What great ideas. When we come back, we'll visit the Family Place in Norwich, one of the many local nonprofits supported by Ledyard. Stay with us now as we bring you a few words from the local businesses that are still with us, even during these challenging COVID times. There's a big difference between a big box store and a Lavallee Middleton building supply. When you're a local store, you need to compete with the bigger chains. So we've combined our purchasing power with over 300 independent lumberyard and home centers, and we've passed those savings on to you. Our customers have grown up with our stores, and now their kids are shopping here with our kids. We have everything you need for any home improvement project you can think of. And the possibilities are endless. If we had a motto, it would be neighbors helping neighbors build a community. At HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, we sell, install, tune, and repair heating and cooling systems and deliver your fuel oil and propane. But we're much more. With more frequent major weather events, don't say again, I should have installed a generator. HR Clough provides the best home generator systems available from Generac. Our highly trained personnel provide you a complete turnkey installation. For a free estimate, call the HR Clough company today. Over four generations of local ownership and dependable service. I'm Abby Peel, your host for this week's edition of Yankee Chronicle. At The Family Place, their mission includes creating enduring, healthy growth for families with young children in the Upper Valley and surrounding communities. Let's join their executive director, Nancy Bloomfield, to hear more. Hi, Nancy. So The Family Place is a multi-purpose um, organization um, that aims to support families with young children, their parents that are expecting a child or um, families who have young children. But our focus is really um, to make sure that children are getting off to a healthy start, um, that parents have the information and the resources they need to help um, children at those critical early years. Our goal is also to be here when families are going through challenges, and those could be um, uh, challenges just at the in the first few months of a child's life or those could be um, significant challenges related to poverty or housing or mental health um, where we might be involved um, with the family for years. Families uh, come to us um, 
through lots of different doors, I would say. Um, sometimes, you know, a family is just aware that there's a parent-child center in their community, such as the family place that is a resource for them. Um, other times, a family may come to us um, to join a weekly play group, which is, you know, at the at the core of it, at the foundations, you know, a social opportunity for parents and, and little children. Or they may find out about us because um, their pediatrician has recommended that they reach out to us or another community organization or family member or friend. Families may come to our campus here for um, an intensive program we have that's called Families Learning Together or um, our our childcare classrooms um, or for a parent workshop or another sort of family um, event or we may be meeting with families in their homes. So we, we aim to offer a, a wide variety of, of opportunities for families to have the support that they need. When we talk about ways that we might support a family or resources that we might be able to connect them with, um, sometimes uh, that resource might be a housing support or um, a local food bank. We work really closely with um, partners in our community such as the Upper Valley Haven, um, local pediatric practices, um, WISE for families who may be experiencing um, domestic violence, um, our local substance use treatment providers. So part of our job as the family place is to understand what a family's goals are, uh, what their needs are, and try to help weave together the supports that exist, whether they're um, supports that we directly provide or supports that some of our partners may may provide. Um, the Family Place is a legislatively designated parent-child center in Vermont and as a as a center um, for families in a bi-state community we also offer support to families on the New Hampshire side so while there are some programs um, where being a Vermont resident is necessary for eligibility we also offer a lot of opportunities um, for families who are from the New Hampshire side. There are lots of different ways that uh, the community has supported the Family Place. We are incredibly fortunate to have such a generous community around us. We just this past weekend had our 17th annual Gingerbread Festival, which um, it's, if, it's an uh, incredible event that's hard to picture, but the centerpiece of it is um, our donated gingerbread houses and other gingerbread creations that are made by families, by school classes, by daycares, by professionals, by amateur bakers, you name it. Um, we had over a hundred um, gingerbread creations on display at this event and it's also um, meant to be sort of a, a fun event for people of all ages and for many a kickoff to the holiday season. That event and our annual luncheon in the spring are also very generously supported by um, business sponsorships. So we are very fortunate to have um, 50 racing bibs um, for this year's Covered Bridges Half Marathon. So that means that um, 50 runners will be running um, for the family place, each raising $500 to support our organization. So the Covered Bridges Half Marathon is a beautiful race. Um, in uh, Quichee and Woodstock, Vermont. It always takes place the first weekend in June. So if anyone out there is a runner and would like to support us, um, please give us a call. So this is an organization um, that really survives on the generosity of our donors, our volunteers, um, our business sponsors, and many others who um, have been involved for many years or just getting involved with us who who care a lot about kids and families. Um, if anyone is interested in finding out more about what we do or learning more about how you can get involved, um, please go to our website or to our Facebook page or give us a call. Um, we love showing people our campus here and walking around for an informal tour. Um, would love to uh, hear any questions or tell you more about uh, what we're doing here. Thanks, Nancy, and the Family Place's support of young families. Don't miss our live basketball game of the week at YCNnow.com with replays on WYCX every Sunday and Monday at noon and 5 p.m. This coming week will be at Kearsarge as the boys host Mascoma on Friday at 5.52 p.m. and at Lebanon on Tuesday at 6.22 p.m. as the girls host Merrimack Valley. 
Our games are brought to you by H.R. Clough, LaValle's Building Supply, Barton Insurance, Bubba's Bar and Grill, Moncom Golf Club, and Echo Communications. I'm Abby Peel. Tune in at this same time next week for another Yankee Chronicle. Stay safe, everyone.